Anyway. Um, but yeah, some rare occurrence. I don't know if you can see in there, but the uh, rotors are ate up. I didn't see that. The rotor's actually, the drum is actually separated from the disc, so yeah, that's, that's really interesting. Getting it off. Um, missed the. Try to get this off. It's not coming. Brake caliber seized up. Shit. But hey, one thing is another, man. Let me make a phone call. So we're gonna go get a new caliber just as soon as we can get this one off. Caliber seized up causing all this, and you can you can see it's evidence of the caliber seized up because it's purple. It's, it's heat right here. Let's mount the bracket off. Oil spins. Neat.
going to be 11. Right, the screws are small. These are, oh shoot. well, these are what came out. These are what's supposed to go in there. So 
So I'm gonna put the old ones back in there. By myself, so quicker the way I do the bleed brakes, and I don't want to grab my one man bleeder. Sometimes that can be inconvenient. Let's just get the brake to pinch up the seat there. I ain't gotta worry about nothing getting ripped. repeat three times we're good uh, just to recap uh, that was a 14 millimeter in the back here 18 millimeter to well, 14 to take off the caliber 18 in the back to take off the caliber mountain bracket and there were some uh, clips here that retain the rotor, but you don't have to reuse them. Broke the, uh, break those off, slide everything back on perfectly fine. Other than that, uh, I really don't see, never seen this happen before where the rotor actually disintegrated to the point where the fins were just showing. I mean, it just totally destroyed it. Very interesting though. But either way, we got a new one on, everything's working fine. Uh, it's gonna do the other side and it's just just as easy on to the next one